Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 5th, 6th, and 7th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Sagittarius. Hello, my Sagittarius. How are you? Are you feeling the energy coming? Your full moon, Friday. Now, I did flub up and say, you know, I, 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 I'm Central Standard Time. I tried to put it to Eastern Standard Time, and I went back an hour instead of going forward. But it will be at 3.12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Friday. Sagittarius all the way. Anyway, you know weekend readings using my two Radley Valentine decks. Um, I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I try to just pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, so remember I had talked about with Scorpio full moon, two Sagittarius, I said a lot of things would come out. Well, you know, I like more positive energy to come out, but very cleansing. Um, at the same time with Gemini season, you know, pushing boundaries. So it's like, you know, we need to, we need to, and Sagittarius says, I think you understand this. We need to be the balance. We need to counter. We need to be the light to the darkness. We need to be the positive to the negative. We need to be the desirable to the undesirable. That is why we are together. That is why we come together and why I'm always saying keep your thoughts and your words positive because we help to make that balance. Anyway, just wanted to say that. Anyway, um, I am an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power. Whatever the message is for whoever's out there that needed to hear it, it comes through. Three cards are face down. Nothing's reversed. Reverse cards are kind of like, hey, pay a little more attention. But let's see what we have for the weekend for my Sagittarius's your full moon. And it's going to be very opt. It's going to there is going to be some changes now. Also, too, there's a lot of planetary issues or changes going on, a lot of energy. And then I think I can't, I should, I should look this up better, but look this up more. But I think 17th, 18th, Mercury goes retrograde. All good. All good. Here we go. Friday through Saturday, Friday through Sunday. Woo! For my Sagittarius's. Here we go. The Empress, and you know how much I love the Empress? You know, this is like a bounty card. This is bountiful card. Gabriel, hearing news. And you know, my Sagittarius is take it, take it. Your full moon, get out there, start now. Release, relinquish, but also request. Now, Gabriel is the divine messenger. You could be hearing some wonderful, wonderful news with the Empress. I feel, I'm always feeling like this is the Empress, like you should just put your arms out and receive, okay? And just say, hey, Higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine, whoever that is, I am so ready to receive good things. I am so ready to receive blessings, okay? Now, this is lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Take So, yeah, I would like that for my Sagittarius. I would like it at this weekend and, you know, Full moon doesn't, isn't always everybody's thing. So there could be some emotional people out there, just some cranky, cranky pants. So just be aware of them. But I would love it if you took care of yourself this weekend in whatever way that means to you. Okay? Your next card up, the four of water. Water energy is our Cancer, our Scorpio, our Pisces, fluid and emotional energy. This is about, this is actually, this, this energy is kind of like things passing you by. But the thing about this, things passing you by, it's again, it's, it's the thing, the thing about this is that it wasn't what you were to have, okay? It wasn't what was going to be that blessing or be that, that gift to you because there's something else that's coming for you. So you may be kind of feeling some, you know, you might be having some times where you're feeling a little bit of, you know, oh, what happened in the past? There may be kind of that, some of that little bit of that regret. Let that go and open yourself up for that next step, that next future. Because again, something, there is there is like this wonderful, and again, expect a miracle. Miracles exist. I see that. But this is, I feel like this is kind of still an emotional attachment to something that has gone by. It could be an old relationship. So when you, once, you know, if you still have an attachment to that old relationship, 
And that relationship could be your job, career, work. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal. It could be something to do with family or a home. But if you still have that connection, it does, you, know, you, you can't then move forward. It's like it's tethering you. It's holding you back. So again, full moon, release, relinquish. Release what's holding you back. Relinquish what you don't need anymore. Okay? And this is kind of... This is kind of that energy of you kind of looking back a little bit and saying, oh, I wish, I wish. If you can do something about it, that's wonderful. Do it. But if you can't, you've got to let, you've got to let that go. And you are a fire energy. Once you, get to the, once, you get to, once you get to that true realization, you're able to do this, probably more so than the other energies. So missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom, open your eyes to the possibility. So again, let that go because... You know, and you've you've had this recently, haven't you? Okay. Okay. Last card. Six of Earth. Now, this is, <laughs> excuse me, this is a couple of different things. One is, you know, this is about money. This is definitely about money, and which could be your job. It could be a career. It could be an opportunity. It could be a gift of money. But this is definitely about money. But the thing is, if there's this emotional attachment to one of those other relationships, this this helps, this helps, but it doesn't necessarily stop this, okay? Again, you're the only one that's going to be able to cut those ties so that you can be open. Now, the other thing too, and I'm getting this too, I'm feeling like there's somebody out there that has an existing relationship, and it's a good relationship, but you keep comparing that person to somebody you've had in the past, You've got to stop that. You've got to stop that because, again, the past is the past, okay? Whoever that is, you know, there, there's, that's really coming. It's like you're comparing this person to somebody from that past. So if you're, you know, okay, enough said with this. But this is about money. This is about receiving, you know. So the empress is going to be bringing you something. Um, be prepared. You're going to hear some news possibly, uh, probably about some sort of money probably maybe about a job, maybe career, maybe some sort of opportunity in itself. So gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. Now, that could be, I do feel like, um, you know, again, you know, I might talk about miracles. I've had miracles happen. Uh, you know, and you know when a miracle happens is when when something horrible happens, when something something really hard happens, and all of a sudden you have this peace and you know things are going to be all right. You just know it. And then it's like that's when your miracle happens. Okay? Okay. But there, you know, but the Empress and that Six of Earth, again, that Four of Water is like you're holding on to something that needs to be let go. And you've got to stop comparing. Who whoever whatever Sagittarius is out there that's comparing your present your present, and it could be a job too. So we're just gonna say relationship. It could be a present relationship with that past relationship. You got to stop that because you're not a, you're not being able to appreciate fully the present relationship. Okay, but that's just them. That's just them. For the majority of my Sagittarius's, gifts and money. Okay, how's that one? And take care of yourself. Go out and do something fun for you. Okay, last card. Re not reversed. Face down. Four of Ariel. Four of Ariel. So something about those fours too. But this is, Ariel is earth energy. It is our Virgo, our um, Capricorn, and our Taurus energy, solid energy. And, you know, well, again, we talked about earth energy here. When you give, you also receive. And again, that's kind of that thing that I'm saying is that you're holding on emotionally to something old. You got to let that go. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. So... The Empress and the Six of Earth may be bringing you some money. Put it in the bank. Well, I should, you know, who knows. Yeah, or, or put it somewhere safe. How's that? Put it somewhere safe. Don't just think, oh, I've got this money and I can go spend it. Okay? Just put it somewhere safe. How's that? How's that? But good. I really like your, I really like your weekend. I like how things are popping together or how things are coming together, especially with that full moon in your energy. I like the money energy, the gifting energy. I, you know, the thing that I'm just going to say is work on releasing whatever that old relationship was so you can really, you know, there's two things. You have to get rid of that. Not rid of, oh, 
You have to let that go in order for you to welcome or to appreciate what is either coming or what you have, okay? Because you got some really good stuff going, my Sagittariuses. So we are so close. I know you've been tired of hearing me say this. We're so close to our 20,000 subscribers. What happens when we hit 20,000? Nothing big. I mean, I don't really think anything happens with YouTube. It's just the bragging rights. It's just being able to say, instead of saying, oh yeah, almost, we can say, we can say 20,000 because we did this together. Anyway, my Sagittarius is, be the light to the dark. Really, I think your energy is very much needed in that. So, my Sagittarius is, as always, know that you are loved, stay safe, and be blessed. Bye-bye.